What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the MX-5. Yes, we are finally doing more MX-5 stuff. Today's stuff is this. So we've got carbon fiber from Carbon Miata front wings, both replacements. Managed to pick up a carbon fiber ducktail boot lid and we've got the drift fab front jacking bar. Now, it's been a little bit chaotic with MX-5 stuff and just life in general, so hence why there's not really been uh, many videos, but we are stockpiling the stuff upstairs for the MX-5 and let me just tell you it is insane. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, link's going to be somewhere on the screen. That's where I post most of the stuff when it comes in, as I've been buying so many things for, for the old MX-5. Uh, just to give you an idea, destroyer die stuff, M2 Motorsport, BC Racing Coilovers, just so much stuff, Super Miata hubs. <laughs> the list is almost endless, but we've finally got everything that I wanted to do the uh, the underside restoration and upgrades and all that. I've got the, the coating for the underside. The only thing I'm still missing is wire wheels, but that's, that's not an issue. We, we'll get them just before we need it. But yeah, there's so much stuff coming with that car. It's unreal, but today we are focusing on these bits. So the plan is to get both these front wings off and well, obviously the bumper. We're going to remove all of the hardware, drill drill it all out. It's a little bit windy, let's go back inside. Um, yeah, so we're going to drill out all the holes fit some brand new uh, M6 rivet nuts, put all nice new hardware in, and just give it a nice little freshen up because I have tried removing the bumper before. I think I snapped off like 75% of the heads. So I'm not actually sure how the bumper is still on the car, but I'm not gonna question it. So yeah, we're just gonna go over it all, just make it all nice and fresh and obviously fit these nice new parts now everything here i managed to get second hand like these were second hand brand new but the guy uh, had like sanded it all down because he wanted to re them but then never got around to it so that's why they're like a matte finish that again managed to get second hand but i've had it powder coated so it looks nice and fresh this also was second hand that i picked up the other day so yeah we just love getting the bargain so let's get the car inside let's just get cracking on with it because yeah it'll be good to see what this car's going to look like with starting to upgrade some of the parts you know we're doing car stuff if you have to crack one of these out but great timing for a phone call right, you can wait a minute customers always phone at the worst time anyway so here we are, the car is up on the stand, on the stand, on the ramp. Got the wheels off, we got these off. So now I can just slowly start stripping down. Probably that needs to come off. I'm pretty sure that there's some bolts behind there because I know there's one there, one there, but I'm pretty sure the bolts behind here are the ones that I've snapped all the heads off. So at least it'll be nice knowing that that is back on there. And I believe that the there is some like here that one's another snapped bowl and uh, i think there's like a few more dotted about i cannot wait to get rid of all this crusty disgustingness um uh, obviously you can't see the back but yeah so uh the other thing white arm anti-roll bars we've got uh i've got a new subframe upstairs that's all powder coated so we, we do have some really spicy stuff and I cannot wait for all that to go on so I am calling in the boys getting some slave labor on the go and yeah we're gonna hopefully smash out everything over the course of the bank holiday weekend but that's not this video let's carry on stripping this down so hopefully if nothing else goes wrong well I say as if something's gone wrong so far if nothing goes wrong next clip will probably be bumper off and then we'll be working out how to get these lovely things off. So I have drowned the majority of these in uh, duck oil, or at least the ones that were left here. So 
just let it sit for a little bit and it seems to have snapped ahead. Oh, what a surprise. So we're now one, two, three, four snapped heads. One's come off there. If I can get it, the head out of that bit. Shall we, uh, shall we see how we proceed? These are some uh, seriously bad angles, but it just adds to the, uh, Jesus Christ. This, I swear this is not straight. Why is this going all wonky donkey? Oh, because that is, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's, that's a bent bolt. Uh, another one destined for the bin. Oh, there we go. I mean, that wasn't too sad, but oh, this one's also another bit bendy bolt. So yeah, about about half the bolts were are now perished, but. Right. I think that should be it, bolts wise. Let's uh, let's give this a little bit of a tug. And is there, is there something in in the back of there? Possibly. Right, let's try around this side. I think there might be a hidden bolt somewhere. So let me go. Oh, yes, I see it in there. Wait, is that even? Oh, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna go hunting. And yes, we'll hopefully have that bumper off momentarily. So in order to get that off, there's a couple of uh, bolts up there. So I've had to remove the arch liner and I just wanted to show you the disgustingness that was lurking behind here. And like, there is just a build up of all sorts there. Now I need to work out what to do arch liner wise because I'm not going to be running arch liners, well, not not these ones anyway, as when I fit the wide arches, obviously I'm going to be cutting up quite a lot up here, which you lose then the uh, mounting points for it. But also judging by how much stuff just builds up here, I don't really want that behind, uh, behind the wings because then it's just more moisture and rubbish that can... Uh, potentially cause more rot, which I don't really want to be dealing with. So I will be figuring that out. Probably not today. We'll just get the arches on and run it without arch liners. It's not like the car gets used masses at the moment, but you know, it's just something that um, I'm then gonna figure out whether I make my own little panel just to block that back area. Cause again, I'm not too worried about the front part or up, it's more just, that bit there where any potential moisture is just going that way. Maybe even just make some drain holes at the bottom of these nice new carbon ones. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get these last couple of bolts off and finally get this bumper off. So I know I said the next clip's gonna be that coming off, but this side is arguably worse. So again, you can see there's lots of build up, but there was a disco ball in there, like, how, what, why, and then obviously just more generic filth, but why is there a little disco ball in there and who put it there? Like, the spiders having like a little rave or something? No. This car is just full of surprises. Every single time you do something, you just find something else on it. So it continues, managed to get, there's one, annoying little bolt back there. This one, I don't know what they've put in, but it's a completely different size and it's not a nine mil, it's not 10 mil. That one was 10 mil, I was expecting that to be 10. 10 is too big, nine's too small and I can't get any of the others to fit. So once again, I'm gonna wait for Barma to turn up. So <laughs> I'm going to attempt this. Surely, surely we can manage four bolts. Let's get in here. Open up the boot lid. Right. One, two, three, four. Can we manage that? At this point, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, 
yeah, I've got to, got to try and do something. <laughs> Literally, I've been at it two hours. That's still on because there's a, a bolt behind here, so that needs to come off. That can't come off because that's got one rusted one there and one here, because I was hoping I could at least get that one off, then I could pivot this out and um, unscrew that one, then this could at least come off. Like, all the others are off, he says. Why is that? I mean, it's off, I think. I've been checking it on there, but unless there's uh, another one down, no. Ah, uh, bastard. Oh no, wait, surely. Okay, yeah, I can get to it from there. So, yeah, right, so there's one bolt still behind it. It really is not going great, so, but I'm not gonna edit anything out because that's just how life is modifying cars. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, I can at least do those four bolts there before bar turns up and just laughs at me. So, we'll, we'll soon see. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So that's now all done up in there and in here again as close as possible. This is the uh, cable for the third brake light which this one doesn't actually have so we'll just remove it from there. Although that's had some serious bodgings done to it. And uh, yeah, what are we saying? Is it going to line up perfectly or not? I mean, it closes. Doesn't look too horrendous. Not too bad. There is a bit of a gap city going on back here. So, I don't know if that's just the uh, the fitment of this, but it looks, <laughs> it looks very bowed out. But, uh, I mean, it's not, the, it's not the best fitment thing in the world, but my only worry is if that's not really sealing up, then uh, that could potentially have water come in and then obviously air as well, but let's be honest, these, this doesn't particularly go fast enough for that to be an issue quite yet. But hey, we now have one carbon panel on the car, just two more to go. There's so much growth and just soil and all sorts behind that wing, so I'm interested to see what the conditions are like actually behind it. But <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. One very good condition wing for sale. Hit me up in the DMs if you want to buy it. <laughs> May come in two pieces. Gary's alive. How is Gary still alive? Let him go. Ow. So, the car is currently in this state. What we found so far. I mean, other than the obvious crustiness, we had to remove this so that we could zim zim the bolt here for the bumper. We found that this bracket, which is that bolt there, is broken, which would explain why this was bouncing all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that's the bracket. So that explains that. Here, we had the stud break off in the nut. So we're now <laughs> treading this out, 
So we can put a rib nut, so that would be the back one. Uh, obviously chewed this up a little bit. Taken off this front bumper support. And so I'm now currently removing the crash bar, whatever you want to call it, so that I can fit the that one, whatever the words are, jack and bar. So that's going to go on there. And yeah, so this definitely wasn't a two minute job. So I need a new headlight bracket, bucket, whatever you want to call it, just that entire thing. So that way, at least that will finally fit correctly. But yeah, we need a nine mil hole for that. Don't have a nine mil drill bit, so bulgings are happening. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it for now. So I'm gonna carry on taking this off and hopefully we can finally start fitting up some pieces to this shed. And yeah, it's never ending. So that's off these brackets, whatever you wanna call them, off. It has exposed a lot of rust, but it's not too bad. I say it's not too bad, it's horrendous, but. So now I think this is ready to go on. We're just waiting for Bodgemaster Bill to turn up with a couple of bits so we can carry on with that. And uh, yeah, so I actually noticed that it's got these things so we can refit that plastic support bar as well. So it's bodgy, but it's actually pretty good. But just, the car looks so sorry for itself right now. But I think we're slowly starting to get somewhere. Well, I think we are because we're actually fitting some new parts. So that's a, uh, a good sign for once. Starting to rebuild after 50 years. And um, <laughs> so, Jack and bars on, headlight is back in, still missing this. So I need to get a new one of them. Got a bit of a wobble going, but that's fine. Uh, started fitting this wing. Uh, just need to drill out the hole back here. It's got one hole at the bottom, so I think I might just um, put that one on for now. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. We've had to slot a couple of holes. Still a lot of clearance here because that got bent. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to try and figure out something for this. And yeah, that's where we're at now. So we will persevere, carry on doing many bodgings, and hopefully soon the car's going to start coming back together and be back in all one piece. So back here, the car's done a, a little bit of adjusting, but we uh, still need to do move the catches a bit and see if we can push this down somehow. Um, but yeah, I mean, for now that can just stay as it is, as front end is the important part. I've been here since just, what, half 12? And it's quarter to seven, so that's what, six and a bit hours. Uh, yeah, I was thinking this was only gonna be a quick job, but Definitely not. <laughs> day three. So it's now a couple of days later. As you can see, the car kicked our ass a little bit. So this is where we're at. We managed to get both wings fitted up. This one is still just there in the way. But um, yeah, so these are fitted up. I just need to finalize the bottom bolts is there's a, a couple here that mount to the car that's for the arch liner which is being deleted i don't even know where it is there's one there and yeah whatever um so yeah i'm going to do those when they're not on the ramp because that way i've got a bit more access under here to see where the bolts are lining up and whatnot as there's going to be a little bit of fiddling about there indicators i'm going to worry at another time because obviously it means cutting these but i don't particularly want to fit these uh, disgusting things back on 
Lucy was the only one that was actually productive over the, uh, the, the Saturday and turned the wing mirrors into fried eggs. And yes, that is both sides. Um, so yeah, that's the front end. Back end is still, ah, that's where the other arc shiner is. So yeah, this is still a bit poo fitment, but we'll, oh, bar managed to make that better. Okay, oh, didn't realize that, but yeah, thank you bar. Um, so yes, <laughs> that's about where we got to. Obviously this is all fitted up nicely and it is solid. So I'm going to bin those two things. And yeah, I've got the lovely task now to try and fit the front bumper back onto the car as yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a nightmare. I need to, that's definitely closed. Yeah, I need to um, drill out the snapped uh, bolts from there. I don't think I'm going to bother oh, uh, putting these end ones back in, which were these ones here, um, just because they were an absolute nightmare to fit. Well, not to fit, to remove, so it's just going to be making my life a little bit easier. Then once that's on and in place, I then need to figure out where these bolt holes are as there is a bracket here so that needs to somewhat align up with the bracket and then um into here so bar has chopped off nope yeah oh yeah he, i think he started he chopped off um some of the studs and yeah and just need to figure out placement for those and then bolt the bumper up to those and hopefully get this all back together. I'd like to say this morning, but I don't know how it's going to go. So I'm just going to play it by ear and fingers crossed I won't be doing too much shouting at it. Quick little update for you guys. So here I have, so we've got those six bolts that run along the top of the bumper. Um, I've re-tapped all the ones that were okay, uh, all the ones, so there was three that was okay, that one there, those two, then those three had uh, snap studs, or bolts, whatever, so I've managed to drill that one out, put a rivet out, drill that one out, rivet out, Bill tried to drill that one out yesterday, but the drill bit snapped in it, and can't be dealing with that right now, as I just need to get that back onto the car. So for now, I'm just gonna run the five bolts on top. I mean, for the past couple of months or so, it's been with like three bolts in it. So I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Then over here, there's uh, some little metal brackets here with uh, studs that came through. What I've done was use my brain and made this little contraption. So a little rib nut, penny washer on the back, into the bumper and then I can offer them up to here so as you can see this one's only got one cut out already but behind here there is uh, the metal bracket with a couple of slots just all for alignment I think so chuck the bumper on try and mark on on the wing where it will go and then same again on this side, or for this side. Why is this one cut out in the other one? Oh, I, I go up. Anyway, so <laughs> yeah, basically just try and line that up with this metal bracket, which looks like it's okay. And try and line it up to here and just try and get the fitment to be as good as possible. And then I think we are getting towards the home stretch with fitting this back on. I'm not fitting that back on here. There is the mounts for it, but for some reason it's catching somewhere. And again, cannot be bothered with dealing with that right now because I can't remember if I have told you guys or not, but I do have a new body kit on the way. So front bumper, rear bumper and side skirts. So this bumper is not going to be on there for all that long. So as long as it's on there and looks okay, then 
good enough for me as uh, I think I should be receiving the bumper in the next week or so whether I'm gonna fit it or not like the body kit because <laughs> I have decided I really do not like fiberglass or like body panels or just trying to do gapping so I might uh, palm that job off and to uh, Sam the body shop that's then going to be painting the car in October so I might go and give him that news actually because I really don't fancy uh, dealing with any of that stuff and they'll be better equipped for it be better for like getting panel gaps and all of that sorted so yes i'm going to fingers crossed offer this up on there now and uh pray that this goes well i might pre-slot this a little bit already uh similar to how it's been done on here like that's one thing that we found is this bumper had like for example these holes already drilled out they weren't on here and it's just like why why are some drill some not I was expecting it to be like a a quick easy bolt on job but apparently not so without further procrastination let's just get on with this before doing anything up these new holes they're not too bad this one I've had to slot a tiny little bit just as uh, there was well there is like a, uh, a welded nut on the underside, so they tried to like drill around it and then uh, managed to somewhat chisel it off. But I mean, it's not too bad to be honest. And I know the, the bumper does need to go up, but the fitment on the sides doesn't look like it's going to be a million miles away, ignoring the damage uh, <laughs> I caused when trying to remove uh, that wing there. But that is minor issues because, like I mentioned, new bumper coming, so plus the fact that this one wasn't in exactly uh, the greatest condition when I got it, but she's slowly starting to come together, so yeah, um, I just need to double check that those holes line up with everything there. Then around here it's just these brackets that hold the bottom of the bumper up. I'm going to get new brackets, but I'm just holding off on doing that just in case I need different ones for the new bumper. But yeah, starting to finally look like a car again. So let's get these bolts in and fingers crossed, we are almost there. Here we go. So carbon panels in all of their glory. So again, this is they look a lot better once it's been re-lacquered and all that, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it's come out, considering how long it took. One thing that I did realize was now that I've screwed up, screwed up, screwed in the bottom of here, the door doesn't actually open because I forgot to clearance that bit. So that's going to be uh, another day's job. And then back here, again, that, that could do with coming down, but because it's solid carbon, I don't know how we're going to manage that, but Ah, we'll figure it out. If not, I can just get Sam to do that, but just a nice clean duct tail right at the back and the carbon wing. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, make sure to drop us a like and let us know down in the comments what you want to be seeing us do next. Um, I think it's probably going to be fitting the wide arches. I've got some new wheels on the way. Um, so that they'll fit the arches a bit better. I'm still going to need some spaces, but I'm then going to need to get some proper spicy wheels. So these ones are just going to be like a cheap interim wheel. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video.